Thank you. The question is that motion 11699 in the name of Siobhan Brown on Trusts and Successions Scotland Bill be agreed and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Bill Kidd. Uh, time of year, uh, presiding officer, my screen has frozen. Uh, I would have voted yes, thank you. Thank you, Mr Kidd. We'll ensure that's recorded. Point of order, Martin Whitfield. Apologies, there seems to be a difficulty connecting to the digital voting platform. I would have voted yes. Oh, I can confirm that your vote has been recorded, Mr Whitfield. I call Neil Bibby for a point of order. I'd have voted yes, President Officer. Thank you, Mr Bibby. We'll ensure that's recorded. Oh, I call Tess White for a point of order. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms White. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 11699 in the name of Siobhan Brown is yes, 120. There were no votes against, there were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed and the Trusts and Succession Scotland Bill is passed. The next question is that motion 11616 in the name of Martin Whitfield on behalf of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee on standing order rule changes, proxy voting be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on two parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No member objects. And the final question is that motions 11725 on approval of an SSI and 11726 on committee meeting times in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? The motions are therefore agreed and that concludes decision time and we'll now move on to members' business.